John, do you want to wrap up the breeders? We were dark last week, so uh, we, missed, we missed it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I he might be able, uh, Jake might be able to talk a little bit more about some other races, but um, just the classic, which is the the major race. Um, it was uh, it was quite interesting. I was watching TVG the night before, and they had a young kid on there that um, the the, the um, they more or less just said, "How do you think the race is gonna?" the pan out and he almost called it to a T. Um, wow. he said war will, who was the Preakness leader, he's a speed in the race. He'll take it out and he'll, he'll be the leader, uh, around the turn. Uh, he exactly right. He said, um, McKenzie will fall in right behind and he'll always try to be on his back hip. Although he had some real problems yeah, at the did. first turn, he had to pull up and kind of steer. It was a great steer job it actually was. by him. Um, and, and what he'll do is he'll just go right in behind his hip and he'll just stay there and find his time to go. Now, Mongolian groom, God rest his soul, was the horse that got taken down. But he came up uh, to the right side of, of McKenzie on the back stretch. And at the three-quarter pole, that guy, uh, I don't know who was riding him, asked him to go. And by asking him to go, that means McKenzie had to go with him because he needs to push this horse out wide right so then war will is done he's passing out now the whole thing is vino vino rosso is back behind him just kind of cruising drafting letting them do all their little jockeying around right. right and then um you know what race was it that he got dis- disqualified for is that the san uh san Anita derby or what was the big race mm-hmm. Vino rosso got disqualified or oh. through his rider, right? Or he threw yeah, his... no, it was the yeah, San Anita Classic. San Anita, San yeah, yeah. So San he Anita. comes around the turn, and now this kid has got a lot of horse ready to go because he's been waiting for these horses to do whatever needs to be done. And then what happens is Mongolian goes has to go onto the inside. McKenzie's now got the lead, um, and then Mongolian takes a bad step and and breaks the bad you know breaks the ankle or the the foot or yeah. something and has to be destroyed which is is and then all of a sudden vino rosso comes out of nowhere around after letting them do all the jockeying work and just comes right by mckenzie and just destroys him now hindsight armchair quarterback i thought that mckenzie was asked too early to go because of uh, mongolian so that allowed him to add, be asked early which means down the stretch he didn't have much at the very end now i've talked to a lot of guys and they said, I don't care when you would have asked him, he still would have got beat. Now, it might not have been, it might have been closer, right. but the better horse of Vino Rosso. So, this guy, this young guy, and when I was watching it, he called pretty yeah, much the whole he race. He told him, he, he, they had the little uh, magnets. He's like, they're going to be here, and then they're going to be here, and they're going to be here, and then it's going to like this. And, he, and other than high power, he had the first and second place horse. And, um, so, I, I think the best horse won, to be honest with you. And I think, you know, Mike, Mike Smith got pulled off of, of McKenzie. His horse didn't fire either. He struggled. He came in like third to last. But I kind of thought, you know, Baffert, maybe it's not the rider. Maybe it's just your horses yeah. didn't have enough. Although Jake thought he had enough to, to win. But I ended up hitting the exacta and... <laughs> Jake didn't. There's a so. yeah. There's gonna be a new section at Sunset Sta- Sunset <laughs> Station out in Henderson. Out there, all the money I blew. Oh really? Is yeah, that what you were? It's not yeah. good. Uh, it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for so, Minnesota. <laughs> so again, it was a great race, and then it was spoiled by a horse having to be put down, which is is not not fun. And let alone by and by the way, they had four different vets. Sorry, each horse was looked at by four. They had thirty yeah. something vets there. And four vets per horse had to make their assumption. They scratched a lot of yeah, horses that weekend. They a did. lot of horses got scratched. Especially so, the juveniles. so, yeah. and that horse was doing great till he got to the turn. And I don't, I'm thinking it was a bad step. I don't think it had anything to do with the track. Yeah, no, it was, it was a bad, bad step. step. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so, uh, I, it's just that day. I, I'm curious to see if that happened on Friday if there would have been more scratches uh, on Saturday. But um, overall, you know, I watched a majority of all Friday, and it was it was great racing. It was it was really good racing. Um, and then I thought it was a great classic also. Yeah, no, so, it was. Yeah. 